Hi, Cumberland community. It's Mr. Goddard, the librarian at Cumberland Elementary School. I'm going to be talking just a little bit about how to get into Clever, which is a way that our students log into the multitude of accounts they might have through Metro Nashville Public Schools. So what you need to do first is go to a browser. So I'm just gonna to go to Google Chrome, but you could go to any browser that you have on your device. And the website you're going to be going to is clever, C-L-E-V-E-R dot com slash I-N slash M-N-P-S. So again, clever dot com slash I-N slash M-N-P-S. And you can go ahead and hit enter. And this will take you to the Clever homepage. And so typically students use a Clever badge that they hold up to the camera and it logs them in automatically. But using this from home, you can log in with the student's email and password. To do that, you will log in with Office 365. So I'm going to be logging in through my teacher Clever account. Uh, students Clever accounts can't be posted anywhere online because of privacy re reasons. But if you need help um, getting your credentials or your email and password, um, please feel free to um, email me at jdgoddard at mnps.org, the email you see on the screen. So I'm gonna log in with my username, jdgoddard, at mnps.org. So I'm going to log in here with my password. Um, again, talk to me if you need to get your um, MNPS email credentials, and I can get those for any student. All right, it might also tell you to stay signed in. And if you're on your own computer, that'd be great. Um, if you stay signed in, you won't have to log in quite as many times. When your student logs in, they'll see a portal that kind of looks like this. It might have a few different apps depending on their teacher. I'm going to talk about a couple of apps that might be helpful in keeping your student occupied and learning. One is iReady. And so many students will be familiar with iReady already. It is an app that will have lessons in math and reading. If you'd like your student to practice their typing, they could also go to Typing Club. Code.org is a great app for getting students started with coding. And then lastly, a great app they could use is the Limitless Libraries webpage, which is the partnership between Nashville Public Library and Metro Nashville Public Schools libraries. There's many databases they could do research on here. There are also good places to find electronic books and audiobooks. Thank you for listening. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, my email is jdgoddard at mnps.org, and I would be happy to help any parents who need some help with technology or resources.